this isn't about me. You know, this is all about you and below deck. <laughs> How was it working with Captain Lee? Really good. You know, Captain Lee and I got along really well. He's a great captain. Um, he cares about his crew and he's a nice, nice guy. Um, as soon as episodes started to come out, <laughs> Uh, I, it seems as though he's got a little issue with me. He, he's not too fond of me and on his social media, which is fine. I don't want everyone to be fond of me. Um, but we were really good in real life. I don't know uh, what's upset him. But um, yeah, I'm just, you know, staying in my lane, letting Mr. OG Captain do his thing and, and say what he needs to say. And then um, hopefully, hopefully he'll like me by the end of the season. What have you read from Captain Lee's social media <laughs> that's kind of upset you or just shocked you or uh, made you sad the most? No, uh, I think uh, it's just, I don't, I think he wants me to stop complaining and bitching about my crew. It's all fun and games. I'm not an evil person. You know, we, everything I said, I said to their face, you're never going to see that, obviously, because that's not fun to watch, is it? Um, so it's, it's all it's fun but um, yeah I don't think he like he likes what he saw from the show but on TV you know in, in real life or as in when we were filming we were you know we we're buds we had always had good things to say to each other I did want some more recognition from him but hey ho and I want more recognition from everyone so that's not too um, abnormal but yeah he, he was good I don't know why he doesn't like me we'll leave it there and when you read some of these things, you never feel like you should chime in on the discussion. Always, always. But I can't because I know that um, maybe that's what people want from me as a response. So I like to like comments of people being horrible just to make them feel that I've seen it and they should feel bad for their horrible things. But yeah, I've had some really nasty stuff come through, but some fantastic love and a huge amount of support. Um, so I'm, I'm going to concentrate on those and, and thank everyone who is there supporting me. Everyone else who's not can just fuck off. Seriously, you can say, yeah. you, you can use any language you want. What do you think of Captain Sandy? Like, have you watched any of, like, are you familiar <clears throat> with any of the Captain Sandy episodes? Yeah, I, I, I love the idea of Captain Sandy. I think she's fantastic. I think she's great. I think she would like me more. So um, if Below Deck Med, considering anyone for the next season slip into one's dms it's coming it's coming a theme now isn't it listen i'm gonna get you another job another appearance <laughs> on below deck a job with lisa vanderpump others <laughs> famous people slipping into so your many DMs. Options. yeah it's great what do you think you would like about working with captain sandy or why do you think she would like you better so to speak um well i've only got two options in yachting captain leo sandy and what i've read that Captain Lee's been writing about, anything's better. So we'll just go for Sandy for that. That's, that, that's a fair answer. Would you go back to Below Deck? I mean, even if it was Captain Lee, like either Incarnation or Sailing Yacht, like if they asked? I consider it. It's a lot of work. Honestly, a boat that size should have at least seven on the interior. And we had three, two of which were doing a job. It's tough. So I, it's a lot of work and you're confronted with cameras and you've got, you know, pick up interviews and you've got, it's, it's never ending. It's the most work I've ever had to do in yachting. And <clears throat> it's tough. It's toll, it takes a toll on you, but it was the most fun I've ever had. If things get better, you know, if, I, if we finish the season and I come across great and I'm feeling good about life, then why not? But if it's going the way it's going, <laughs> I'm going to stay away from TV for the rest of my life. Really, you're just not, yeah. Like, like I you can't deal with the not, hate very well. No. Really, like you're not. There's no burning desire to go do some other, you know, Big Brother or some other reality TV show. David, you're gonna be famous for that. I'm not there yet. Do you let the hate get to you? Because like everyone gets the social media. Like, do you? I mean, you know, look. There's comments mm -hmm. for all of us. Like, mm -hmm. do you really? Does that get to you? You know, because. Um, weirdly enough, the homophobia doesn't because I always, I've always known that I'm a, well, I've dealt with homophobia my whole life. I can shrug it off quite easily. It's obviously gross to see some of the things that people write, like really quite gross. Um, but it's, yeah, it's people not liking me when they actually have no reason not to. And I, and I've never liked that. Um, and 
it's specifically about jess people are saying that you know turned on heather now i'm turning on jess in real life it wasn't about that every morning jess and i spoke and i looked her in the eyes and i made her feel good and we talked about what was going to be exciting today and how many more hours we had to go to the charter was gone and we could go out and have fun you know it was always about bringing her up and bringing her up and bringing her up and I, I loved her i really do love her still um but she was really beaten you know she didn't want to be there and she never said anything about her family or her family issues so I wasn't aware of that, which makes it look worse for me. But she didn't tell anyone apart from Heather. And Heather's not going to spread that knowledge, of course. But she just didn't want to be there. She was like, I hate this, don't want to be in yachting, don't want to be here. And so, yeah, I got angry. And, and, and that's what you see on the show. And that doesn't make me look very good. So, yeah, I think I wish people knew, knew the real story. Well, we have a lot more of the season to go. Two more final questions. Have you ever been on a charter, like in the real world with like some uber famous celebrity where you're just like, you know, cause that's who goes on a lot of these charters. Like, have you ever had someone on your charter that we all know and you're just like, oh boy. Um, I've had some very, very influential people. Um, but maybe people you wouldn't know. I'm part of uh, the yachting that I've been, um, that I was trained in was a very high end, um, but low key in terms of like lots of NDAs and lots of privacy. And, um, but yeah, some very big people, but no one, no one from the TV or no one, no singers or anything like that. No. Just a bunch of NDAs and keep Just it all a, quiet. a bunch of very wealthy people. Yeah. And what are you up to now? That's my final question. Like, what are you, what's, do you have a charter coming up? Like what's going on? So I'm in the med um, and we're in winter. So I've got the boat that we're getting restored and then um, our season will begin May time. So we're just chilling, not chilling, we're doing work. We're just not going to do charters until then. Um, and yeah, I've got um, a very small team because we didn't need to be fully crewed at the moment, but I'm looking after them. They're looking after me and it's really fun being a chief. It's, um, it's something I've always wanted. So I'm finally where, where I wanted to be. So it feels good. You can channel your inner Kate and Hannah and Heather. Absolutely. Before we go, this really is my last question. What do you think that you want people to take away as they watch the rest of the season? Like from you, like you said, like you're getting some hate. Like, what do you want people to say? Like, this is the misconception about me and just kind of, no, this is what I, you know what? I don't want to be away. that. Yeah, I don't want to be that person who sits there and goes, no, it's not what happened. No. Everything you see happened, I'm not saying that, you know, that's definitely what happened. Just understand that there are other factors to it, guys. And you're watching a television vision show, you know, they're not going to use the boring bits, they're not going to use the lovely bits. We're going to use what, you know, what's more exciting to watch. And that's great. Um, but yeah, just, um, just enjoy it. 